Hey, what's up, guys? My name is D Jones, and I'm a DP from Arlington, Texas. Hey, what's going on? My name is Logan Etherington. I'm a director from Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Jacqueline. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I am a director. How's it going, guys? My name is Amanda Martinez, and I am a director for music videos and a DP for everything else. Hi, my name is Jared Elrod, and I kind of run the media department um, at a church in upstate New York. Hey, I'm Tashkir Kanda. I am a director and aspiring DP. I do music videos and short films so far. So the number one thing I struggled with coming into this course was my lighting for several reasons now that I know. I couldn't get the light to be as soft as I wanted it to. I couldn't get the light to keep from spilling in places where I didn't want it on my scene. And so now I've learned how to use uh, different kinds of diffusion, different sizes of diffusion to get the lighting as soft as I need it to be and to also get that shadow fall off that I desire as well. And I've learned other tools to use to also keep light from spilling off in places that I don't want it to be on camera. Uh, before enrolling in this course, I had a real trouble understanding the fundamentals of filmmaking. I really did. Uh, it wasn't great because I spent three years at university and we basically learned nothing. Spent over a hundred thousand in student loans on on university and I felt like I came out of it with nothing. I was struggling with cinematography for a lot of reasons. And the main reason was because I was taught the old school way of how to three point light and that's it. That's the only thing you can do. But in this course, it went in and taught you how to do all these different types of lighting, how to use practicals, how to use the dark side of, of, of shadow side and be on camera and how to properly light for cinematic exposures and cinematic quality content. And right away, the the stuff I was learning, specifically the lighting stuff, uh, just is helped. So you can see from our first couple of weeks of the content we're putting out to just a few weeks later, after just getting a couple hours into some of this, the the learned cinematography work, drastically changed. Um, our lighting got way better, which made our videos look way better. Uh, and even just for like our talking head studio stuff, as well as all the like short films and skits and everything we do go they, they've they've gone from just looking like some little like facebook video that someone posted on their iphone to looking like actual like little short films that we can put out to our network and the the, the reviews we're getting back are amazing people are loving it people are shocked at how good our stuff is looking and like so much of that comes from the principles learned in the learn cinematography course one of the things i've always been scared to do is adjust the settings inside my camera i'm one of those people i put my camera on the tripod i put it in auto mode and i start shooting the thing that I struggled the most was with lighting. Every time I would come into a set, I would just fall back into the traditional lighting and I just hated it. I even started trying to do more things, new things, and I would just be doing it wrong, using the wrong diffusion or even a small size one instead of a bigger one. I, I just, the course just opened my mind to do things different and it also helped my creativity a lot. I would have never, thought about using a huge diffusion, just one source on top of the artist, and it looked so great. This course was really helpful in showing exactly how to set up lights to get the kind of looks that you're looking for. I'm a super visual learner, so for them to do a full breakdown with videos and pictures and to actually set it up and show you what it looks like and the exact distances for everything was extremely helpful. And the video breakdowns of the things that they'd already shot uh, were probably the most helpful things for me, just seeing how uh, a finished product was made fully behind the scenes and with everything they did. And the way that the lessons were um, delivered in the course made everything so accessible and digestible that it became a nice way to kind of just build my knowledge base in a way that I can keep practicing and evolving and figuring out the fundamentals for myself. So for me, the number one thing I'm enjoying so far about this whole course is the fact that they teach you these things, they walk you through it, show you small little examples, but then you actually get to see it being put to use in a behind the scenes video. So you know that the application actually works and how it works. So you're not just stuck with seeing 
you know, a still image of something and saying, okay, all right, that's just how it is. You actually get to see how they used it. And then the final outcome of how that image or that scene turned out due to what has been taught. So to me, that is just a game changer. This course has reinvigorated my passion for filmmaking and I now feel like I have a really safe foundation to stand on. I feel like I can do a lot more and I have done a lot more just since the mere weeks I've been in the course. And you can literally go back, I can show you from like, these were like the first three weeks we did without it. And then here's like the next week where I start implementing and then a couple weeks later, once I got through the course, just the night and day difference. It looks like, yeah, I mean, it looks like we switched over a camera and everything, just how much better everything started looking. So but upon taking the Learn Cinematography class, I really understood how to adjust the settings in my camera. And it's really played a part to how I can get the creative and quality look that I want. So hats off to the Learn Cinematography class, hats off to what they're teaching. It's really worth the investment and I'm really glad I did it. Something that I've always wanted to achieve was a nice soft look on my interviews, as you always see in your Netflix documentaries. Thomas does a great job in explaining this. I've had some great work since watching the course. I would definitely recommend this course, not only for people who didn't study film school, you know, didn't go to film school or didn't study. Um, I would also recommend it to people like me. I went to all the way to the United States to study and um, it just didn't, it didn't work out. I mean, it wasn't enough for me. I felt like I came back with different tools, but I didn't know how to use them or didn't have the right information every time I would go into a set. And this course was just so clear to me, so straightforward, really concise and to the point. And it just, as I said before, it just opened my mind and my creativity to another level. And now- Highly recommend it. And on top of all that, um, it's entertaining and it's really easy. Sometimes you get good courses and it's hard to navigate. So it's entertaining to watch and it's really easy to navigate to exactly what you need if you need to jump around quickly or go back and review stuff. So I definitely recommend it if you're doing any kind of video work where your videos need to look good. All right, thanks. Learning this course to use, I just directed my first music video, which is set to release next week. And I would definitely recommend this course to my filmmaker friends who are looking for practical applications, um, things that you can use right away in their videos. So would definitely recommend it. So would I recommend this course to my friends? Heck yes, absolutely. Man, first of all, the instruction is top notch. You're getting taught by people in the game right now that know their stuff. Secondly, it saves you a ton of time from having to go out and read a bunch of books and click around for a bunch of different videos to be able to learn all of this different stuff. And lastly, man, it is straight up inspiring. You learn these things and it makes you want to immediately go shoot so you can apply these things into the way you already do things. So man, if you're thinking about getting the course, just go ahead and do it, make it happen. And I promise you, you will not regret it because I have not either. All right, peace.